Good afternoon. This is Cheryl PV coming to you on day three of Time to Live My Purpose Journey. I want to quickly recap the past couple of days. Day one was talking about this being a 90-day journey that I'm asking you to partake with me, to hold me accountable, that I'm going to come on the next 90 days and share with you my journey of living my purpose, finding my purpose, and becoming a successful person, a successful entrepreneur. I talked about who challenged me, C.C. Clark. I talked about yesterday how important it is to have knowledge. You know, look up people who are seasoned entrepreneurs that you follow, find out their story, how they got started, gather and take nuggets from their stories so you can apply it to your life. Then I also talked about how important it is to pour into yourself, to love yourself, nurture yourself, so you can be the best that you can be to be able to pour into others. Now today I'm going to talk about having a heart of gratitude. God placed this upon my heart last night that I know the things that you want, Cheryl. I know you want to be a successful entrepreneur. I know that you want to be your own boss and do things your way. But in order for you to get to the place that you want to be, I need you to understand that you need to be thankful and grateful for where you are right now. That's gratitude. In recent years, I used to journal, and I got away from that. And God said, it's time for you to journal again. Now, statistics show, studies regarding to health shows that if you're grateful, somehow that helps you feel better. So for the next 21 days, I'm asking you to walk in this journey of having a gratitude journal starting to keep a gratitude journal, make up a gratitude journal, five things every day that you're grateful for, that I'm grateful for. And then the next 21 days, they say when you do something for 21 days in a row, it becomes a habit. So I'm asking you to do this with me. And then as we look back, when we get to the 21 days and we look back, I guarantee you, we're going to see a change in our lives, but also a change in us. And a person that I know that talks about gratitude is Oprah. She said in recent years, I know that she got off of journaling, but I think she's back to doing it again. But she said for 16 years in a row, she journaled every single day. And she talks about if you concentrate on the good, that gives it energy. And having energy, positive energy, creates abundance. And I know also in recent years, she's had a lot of guest panelists talk about gratitude, from T.D. Jakes to Tony Robbins and also Deepak Chopra. And I know that he has his own gratitude series, you know, that he does as well. And he talks about having a, a gratitude creates a consciousness abundance, but it also draws you closer to God. And having a relationship with God is so important that whenever, whatever we're doing in our lives, walking this journey, he just wants it to walk it with us. He wants us to be close. He wants to humble us. He knows if our heart is pure. He wants to see if your heart is pure. And he knows if your heart is pure, then he knows that what you're wanting to accomplish, he's going to allow you to have that because he wants you to be able to pour in to other people to give back. And also, I want to stress that no matter what we've gone through, our trials and tribulations, our hurts, our pains, it's also a lesson that we are learning. So we need to be grateful for every single thing we go through. Even though we may not like it, there's a lesson for us to be learned. And also, I notice a lot of times, if we don't get that lesson the first time, God will send the same exact situation around. He may use different people. He may use a different circumstance, but you'll experience the same situation until the lesson is learned. So today, I just ask you to start journaling for the next 21 days, five things that you're grateful for. And even it might be the same thing every single day or some of the same things, but please journal. And I'm asking you, in the comments below on this video, please list one thing that you're grateful for right now, today. I thank you again for sharing this journey with me. I also stress again, if I forget to post a video, the first two people who contact me and say, hey, Cheryl, you forgot to post a video, I will send you $50. 
again, I thank you for partake, excuse me, for partaking in this journey with me. I look forward to what God has in store for me because I have no idea what I'm going to talk about from day to day. But I appreciate you. I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for walking this journey, for supporting me and encouraging me. And again, I look forward to continue to pour into you. So that in order, if I'm pouring into you, it also pours into myself. And I hope something that I go through, that I talk about for the next 90 days, will be a blessing to you. Because you are a blessing to me. Just watching this video encourages me to be better, to become better, to humble myself and be very thankful for all of the people who have sent comments, who said encouraging words to me. I really, truly thank you and appreciate you. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. I hope you have a fantastic, glorious weekend. Again, I'll see you tomorrow. Stay tuned. Bye.